the best friend of a diabetic's gut and glucose. You wanna clean your guts while lowering your glucose? Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to talk about the best friend of a diabetic's gut and glucose. And that is no other than the humble cabbage. Yes, you heard it right. Cabbage is a superfood that is highly recommended for patients with diabetes due to its ability to control blood sugar levels. Cabbage is also loaded with fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins, making it an excellent tool for maintaining gut health and reducing the risk of heart disease. Very important, right? Because diabetics die from heart disease a lot. Stick around to learn more about the amazing benefits of this incredible vegetable. Listen up, fellas. Because we are about to talk about why cabbage should become your new best friend. Sure, it may not be the sexiest vegetables out there. Some of you may think carrots or cucumbers are better, but hear me out. Did you know that cabbage contains S-methylmethionine? Some people call it vitamin U to make it simple. But now we know what you're thinking about. You will be like, that's not a real vitamin. Well, I had to break it to you, but neither is vitamin K. That's right, the same vitamin that helps your blood clot and keeps your bone healthy. I have a whole video about that. And here's the kicker, S-methylmethionine may actually help speed up the healing of peptic ulcers like the duodenal ulcers or stomach ulcers. So next time you're at the grocery store, don't overlook that head of cabbage. Your gut and your wallet will thank you because it's cheap. You might think of cabbage as a side dish to your corned beef on a St. Patrick's Day, but it actually contains sulfur compounds that can help reduce your risk of cancer. I will also talk about how cabbage is so good for your kidneys later in this video. One of these compounds is sulforaphane, which you will also find in broccoli and Brussels sprouts. That's why they're also good for you. It's like a double whammy of a cancer-fighting goodness. Plus, sulforaphane acts as a selective antibiotic against plant pathogens. So not only are you doing your body a favor by chowing down on some cabbage, you're also helping out the plant world. It is a win-win. You thought cabbage was just good for coleslaw and farting? Think again, my friend. Red cabbage, the superhero of the cabbage family, is packing a serious punch of vitamins and minerals that put most other greens to shame. Not only does it have more vitamin C than an orange, yeah, you heard me right, but it also brings the heat with potassium, folic acid, vitamin B6. And if that wasn't impressive enough, red cabbage knows how to keep your gut in check with some anti-inflammatory magic. Move over, kale. Red cabbage is taking center stage at the healthiest food in town. You know what they say, cabbage is king. Well, okay, maybe nobody actually says that, but they actually should, especially for all those folks out there struggling with diabetes. You see, cabbage is low in starch content and has absolutely no sugar in it whatsoever which means it is basically a superhero of the veggie world. And let's not forget about Red Cabbage's secret weapon, betalanes. These natural red pigments not only give red cabbage its gorgeous color, but they also help reduce blood sugar levels and even increase insulin production. Who knew this unassuming vegetable could be such a powerhouse when it comes to, yeah, diabetes control. Cabbage. You really are something, aren't you? Something special. All right, it's time to come clean, folks. We have recently discovered a shameful act that some of you might be guilty of, which is 
not visiting our website, sugarmds.com, for shame. Not only are we go to destination for the latest and greatest diabetes related information, but our website is also home to some serious diabetic supplements. So if you haven't already, or if you have done it a while ago, I highly recommend yourself to do a favor and check out sugarmds.com. You won't regret it. And we promise not to judge you too harshly for your past transgressions. Finally, let's talk more about this cabbage. We're not done yet. Did you know that it is actually a great choice for those with kidney disease? Not only is it low in potassium, but it is also a powerhouse of nutrition. And get this, it is on the alkaline side of the pH scale. That is important because when your kidneys are failing, you don't want acidic stuff in you, believe me. That means it can help balance out your diet and give your kidneys a bit of a break. Plus, with so many different uh, ways to prepare the cabbage, like from stir fries to coleslaw, there is no excuse not to add it to your meal plan, especially your diabetic meal plan. So go ahead, give cabbage the love it deserves. Your kidneys will thank you too. There are plenty of ways to use cabbage raw and they all taste delicious. You can start with a classic coleslaw or switch things up with a cabbage salad. You're feeling fancy? Well, try some tuna cabbage salad for a protein-packed lunch option. And don't forget about using cabbage as a topping for your favorite sandwiches and tacos. You feeling adventurous? Cook up a cabbage stir-fry or even some cabbage pancakes. The possibilities are endless with this versatile veggie. So get creative and have some fun in the kitchen. Well, it has been an absolute blast having you here with us today. We hope you enjoyed the ride and got some useful insights along the way. But hold on just a second there. Don't leave us just yet. We have almost a thousand other videos, which probably will be thousands in a few years from now. But the ones we already have are waiting for you, ready to take your knowledge to new insights and your entertainment to new levels. So sit back and relax and let us keep you company for a little bit longer. Trust me, with all the content we have, you won't be bored anytime soon. Can't wait to see you again in our next video. See you next time. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.